I made a uh, I made a sign for the people of San Diego, all the businesses in San Diego, and I want to put it up. I want to put it up on the um, on the website so you could print it off if you're in San Diego. And I think this sign should be in every establishment in San Diego because honestly, if you are, you know, with this this, this um, uh, mayor who's a total dirtbag, and if you're a company. And you're going to send your um, your company out. My company has several vice presidents that are women. Am I going to send them out to do business with the mayor of San Diego? Am I going to send them out to... If, and if the city of San Diego allows somebody who is a sexual predator, that's what he is, a sexual predator to um, get away with it because, well, he's, he's doing great. He's, in, he's doing great laws. Well, then what about, can I trust the guy at the convention center? Because maybe he's doing a really good job at convention center too. But is he a sexual predator? I don't know. I'm not going to send my, I'm not going to send my uh, staff out to San Diego to do anything in San Diego. Now, I don't know why conservatives don't take this stance. I mean, you're accused of a war on women. Why not stand up for women? Here's a great way. So here it is. Here's the sign. This establishment recognizes that we all have political differences and we serve people from all walks of life. We also believe it's imperative for people to have standards. The mayor of San Diego will not be served in this establishment. We believe women should be treated with respect. (laughs) That's awesome. Can you imagine putting this in your window of your store, in your establishment, Mm. and if these were in the windows of all of the people in San Diego? I'm not not sure how you argue with that either. You don't argue with that. Uh, you know, I we got it. You, you, you are we, we understand political differences and we're serving yeah. everybody with political differences. Mm-hmm. But we're not going to serve the mayor because we believe that women should be treated with respect. Come on in and argue that with me. Go ahead. Argue that with me. I mean, the only thing you'd say is you, you're certainly serving people all the time that don't treat women with respect. You're just not aware of it. I'm just not aware of it. Well, That's you know you're what? aware of, so you're, yeah, you're drawing somebody, the line there. <laughs> when somebody is look, they're a sexual predator. Did they sp- did they spend their time? Did they do their did they do their time? Yes. Well, they don't have a yellow ticket of leave. I don't have a. They don't have a dog tag on them. If if uh, if they've served their time now, if a known sexual predator, if a rapist comes in, and a known sexual predator. Who's evading the law? Sure, I'll, we'll put a picture behind the cash register. We'll make sure that if he comes in, we not only don't serve him, we serve him up to the police. How's that one? It is time that the that the right starts understanding that the Alinsky tactics, some of them are okay. And one of them is isolation. We used to have discriminating tastes. You see, that's what they've done. We used to have discriminating taste. We used to say, no, no, don't play with him because uh, let me show you your friends. I'll show you your future. Don't, no, 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 don't associate with him. Don't. He's a bad guy. Don't. You don't want to be in bed with him. Now, what the left has done is convinced us that there's no standard. It doesn't matter. Just what he did in his life doesn't matter. So you can associate with him. You can be friends and you just compartmentalize everything unless you're a religious conservative, and then, of course, you've got to be isolated on your own little island. They have reversed discrimination. They have reversed discriminating tastes. They have reversed our values and our systems and everything else. They have told us they stand for women, but every time there's a chance to stand for women, every time there's a chance to say, this guy's a total dirtbag, he is a total dirtbag that does everything he can to demean and harass women. Bill Clinton, Anthony Weiner, uh, what's his name with the prostitutes? Elliot Spitzer. Elliot Spitzer. Every time... Mm-hmm. The guy in San Diego, they've made themselves clear. They are not for women. A real war on women is the, is the war that happens when nobody's looking. When a man is, has power over a woman and says, you know what, honey, you're going to put out right now. That's the war on women. And that is being fought every single day by women all across this country. And you know who's condoning it? That's not the conservatives. 
who's condoning it as a party, the Democrats and the progressives, every single time they have stepped up to the plate and had a chance to prove themselves as being for women and for women's rights and for women not to be abused, they blow it every time. Why? Because the collective is more important than the individual. They will absolutely stand up and say, this woman, this woman was abused. Really? They were abused? Oh, and it's the biggest thing ever. When it serves their political purposes. Let's look at Clarence Thomas and what was done to him. Oh, that poor woman. She was abused. Was she now? Oh, and we have to stand up for the rights of women. But in San Diego, screw it. In the Oval Office, screw it. With Elliot Spitzer, doesn't matter. Okay, it's prostitute. What? It was their choice. Anthony Weiner, look what he's doing to his wife. Does no one have any compassion for women? Does nobody have any respect for women? San Diego, I'm begging you right now. We're going to put this online. Have somebody call upstairs. Have somebody make this for the online thing so you can download it and print it. I'm begging you. Put it on your windows. Take a stand. Take a stand for being a better person. <clears throat> better person. Take a stand for treating women with respect. This has nothing to do with anything other than calling these people out and saying you're frauds. You may not be for um, you may not be for um, uh, women if it goes against your political uh, stand, but we are. We are. And don't think that I won't change this name from the mayor of San Diego. To whoever else it is, if they're a Republican, you damn right I will.